Hey, Jess, you're trying to catch a fish in the koi net? Oh, you got the big one. All right, watch out the way, Will. There he goes. This one here is my favorite. If I had my pick, this is the one I would keep. Oh. There he goes. It's kind of dark in here. There he is. Beautiful butterfly koi. There he goes. Oh, he's got three of them in here. Okay. Look at this guy. Beautiful koi. And this guy right here. I love that one. That guy again. And look at this orange one over here. He's a monster too. There's my foot. Okay, I'm gonna push this in the corner, get ready to grab them when they come out. Here they come. Didn't even get the video of him, he was gorgeous. Josh is not being picky right now, whatever he can get in the net. Alright, Josh, scoop him up. No. He swam into my net. Hang on. Let me get his head out. Stop. Let me get his head out. There you go. That's twice of my net. Alright, there you go. Straight in. Good deal. Okay, we got these two over here next, three. And I think there's still one back in here. Oh no, that's a net sitting back there. There's none under here. Yeah, we're good to go. We got these three more to go. I love that one. He's like butter white. There's one in that corner right there. In this net. He's in this net. Josh. No, I can't. Hold two nets. I got it. Stop it. Out of my net, turn, oh my god. There you go. Okay guys, who wants to go next? Look how nice he looks. coming your way.
Our first stop for gas. Josh, has been driving all this time. How's it feel, son? Just chugging along. Chugging on along to Ohio house. Fish Rescue. On the way where? To the Shack's house. That's right. Yeah. All right, guys, we passed into the Georgia border about 20 minutes ago. And yes, I'm still in the passenger seat. This man has drove all night long. Neither one of us has slept. Nope, got up yesterday, probably what? Seven o'clock, yeah. Been working all day, did our stay fishing Friday, and then got on the road. And, and been, been driving, driving since. <laughs> and now we're ready to, to meet Jack and put these koi in their, their wonderful home. new home. Yep. And uh, uh, then we get to drive home. Then we get to go to sleep. Wait, 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 wait. <laughs> you get to drive right. home. <laughs> Oh, geez. There is Atlanta, Georgia. I like the skies here. Look at that. It's neat. But, yeah, I've never been here. And I was like, you know what? Atlanta, Georgia's got the biggest, world's biggest uh, aquarium. They got the three whale sharks, and I think it's a six million gallon aquarium. So I looked it up and they're temporary closed because of this COVID stuff. So while we're here, we cannot go see the aquarium. I am so bummed out about that. That's horrible. So you guys see, we have the koi in this, in this car right here, but we're about to play a mean joke on Greg. So watch this guys. And they're not He's coming. He's coming. He's coming. Oh, here comes Greg. Here comes Greg. So you see, the koi are just fine. Let's go. They look all right. They're all fine, buddy. Let's go. We know what we're doing. <laughs> yeah, <you're joking. laughs> we are here. Look at that. <laughs> Superman gate. You know whose house this is. The big man Shaq himself. Check out the tree to the right. Oh, we got, oh, the basketball hoop tree. <laughs> look at that. You know me, I'm Big Rich with Ohio Fish Rescue. I'm sitting here with Greg Woodstock, the pond guy. This is amazing. We're out front of Shaq's house. Look at this place. And we have amazing. all the healthy fish. You ready to go see the, the pond that we built them? Oh, yeah. Let's go see that Let's pond. Check it out. All right. So, you ready to see uh, Shaq's pond? Yes, sir. Less than two weeks ago, this did not exist. You could see the spoils of what we did. We went through hell to build this water oh, feature. I watched some videos. That, you guys went through mud and rain and clay. <laughs> clay dirt in the rain. That's, that had to have been slippery and muddy as can be. Just like my front yard pond. Yep. Yeah, it, actually it was very similar. This is just a lot bigger. Right. You did a lot more work here. So there's Pete's Treehouse from Pete's Treehouse Master that did it, uh, built it, and this is where Shaq said he wanted the water feature in front of that, so that's what we came and did. So this is all new sod that replaced the Georgia clay that we dug up, Okay. and then there's the pond, buddy. Oh my goodness, look at this. Oh, that's an oasis. Where you at? That's <laughs> an oasis. Look at that. And I, this is the fire pit? Oh man, look at them waterfalls. They're huge. Man, you really did it up with that. <laughs> this, this is, is this was built by the certified Aquascape contractors of the year. All of the artists of the year, actually. So yeah, wow. that's the that's the view vantage point from up there. We put this entire patio in. This is the the fire that we uh we've been sitting we were sitting around last night and look at that. Look at that pond. That is a masterpiece. Oh, it you got water features up there? Yeah, come on, I'll check it out on camera. Yes, so we got all the carnivorous plants, the pitcher plants right here. That was done by That's John. Awesome. That was done by John Adams, Modern Design Landscaping in, in Tennessee, Knoxville, Tennessee. This is Shaq's Beach because I heard on Shaq Life 
that his favorite thing to do is look at the water and uh, on a sand beach. Josh, what do you think, buddy? This is just amazing. <laughs> to think that less than two weeks ago, this didn't even exist. No, I've seen the videos of what you guys did to this man. It's not like nothing like this. <laughs> Is, uh, so, Greg, is this how our pond's going to turn out in our backyard? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Oh, this is amazing. I love this rock work, too. Look at that. Yeah, Man, these are on them, like, like Missouri moss rock, all brought in from Missouri. I think we did 68 tons or, you know, like 136,000 pounds. I think you outdid yourself on this one, Greg. We did. <laughs> the thunderous sound of that. This is the best waterfall I've ever seen. Well, it was built by Artist of the Year, so that makes sense. Look at that view with that as a backdrop, that house. Wow. Not bad, huh? Keep coming up because oh the piece of resistance is on the top. But just look at the view back, going back. Amazing. Hey, see what I did last night when I was here? I made a little fish cave down there. Did you? So that potted plant, or that plant right there, oh, uh, is the side of the that pot right there, is a, has a Victoria water lily that uh, the le none of the leaves survived. So I'm hoping it comes back. But in the That's meantime, in the meantime, I made a little cave around it so the fish can hide and get a little bit. That's three feet deep, plenty deep enough. But I think the coolest part of this pond, well, there's a lot of cool parts. But look at the look at the retaining wall that we put inside the water with the fire pit right up on the edge. So you sit there and you can put your feet on the end, end of the pond and that's two feet deep there, three feet in the bottom, and then have that fire right below Pete's treehouse. That's nice. amazing. <laughs> so we built this entire path, all the landscaping we did, the path work, everything. And then the landscaper came in and put the irrigation and the sod in. Yeah. I flew Brian, Brian Helfrich back from Chicago to finish this path after we left because uh, Shaq, Shaq's mom asked for it because she wants to be able to walk easier. She didn't want to walk on the grass. So Shaq's mom requested it, so we got it. Nice. And this is really sturdy and I like that. Oh, Josh. <laughs> <laughs> that's awesome. Isn't that so cool? That's, that's a little stuff over there, buddy. You know what? It's the, the, it's the little things. That was Joey Genovese. Genescapes out of Toronto, Canada, that built that in his shop, shipped it to Chicago, and we drove it down. How much did, did that one Let me ask a question. Yeah. Let me ask a question. I know I've seen these water features before, and you have lights in the top. Yep. The, 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 the Aquascape Stack Slate Spheres. Okay. Does that Superman logo light up too? Yo, absolutely. Awesome. Yeah, at nighttime, we were here last night, and then not only does it light up, but it's got the color changing light, so it keeps changing it. You can either do it manually or have it just rotate through. So, so the uh, the concept here for that the artist of the year came up with was that you know there's the front there's the giant front door for the big man himself, but when you pull in this long driveway, the first thing that you see when you're coming up this path is the Superman logo and this the stack slate spheres going down that hill. I love the log there with the. Like that there. log was brought from John Adams Modern. Or, now that log right there was brought from I think. Oh, well, that was brought from John Adams, but I, you know who really did that up was um, Weston Zimmerman from Tusty Mountain. Yeah. Yeah. So, yeah, and then we cut this one down because it's, it's modular. But And what's so cool, Rich, is all this, when this is lit up, all the reflections go on the house there. Yeah. Yeah, so we'll give you some nighttime scenes of, of this pond at night. But, you know, this is for the mom and for him. Walkway that we created right down all the way. This is brand new sod. It just got in here. And uh, yeah, everything, we, we started this uh, Tuesday after Memorial Day. So less than two weeks ago, this was just grass when we started. This was all done in three days? Actually, it took us four because we lost a day with the rain. And uh, it took us one extra day. <laughs> four days. Rain sent them back a day. It took time away because... It was so caked in mud, they could barely move as it was flying. So this is, this is a Ferrari of ponds. This is the top e aquascape ecosystem pond. For a system like this from a certified aquascape contractor, you're looking at literally a Ferrari, a $200,000 you know, wow. water feature. I mean, there's almost 140,000 pounds of rock in here, right. all shipped in on three separate trucks from the Missouri Ozarks. So yeah, this is about a... This, this project from a certified aquascape contractor would probably normally take 
two to three weeks, but it's the art. It's having the ability to do stuff like this. This is what separates a certified aquascape contractor and an artist of the year certified aquascape contractor. So this is an invite only. But when you're you're, you're buying art, you know, not everybody can do this. It's the same right. system. It's a process that we use to build it. Ed, the pond professor, loves to say it best. When you have a set system, you can spend your time on the creativity because we already understand, you know, there's an intake bay over there where the, the pump's in. There's a wetland filter. This is the wetland filter, Josh, believe it or not. Right in here with this lotus that doesn't look too good right now. That is actually six feet deep, filled with aqua blocks, okay. snorkels, centipedes, and gravel, and that's the filter. So you just made it look like it's part of the stream and it runs it is, over it. It is part of the stream. Yeah. Right. Yeah, and then we'll get it more filled up with some plants. But uh, it, that's the filter for this pond, and that pond's going to stay clear. Nice. This is just uh, amazing. Thank you. And Simply it was, beautiful. It was amazingly fun. The harder the challenge, the more enjoyable the end result is. And and this is my first time seeing it with the sod down. It was just mud when we left, but the <laughs> landscaper came in and put the sod in and irrigation for all these plants. Oh, Rick, I forgot to tell you this. What's I gotta that? call this guy right now. There's a guy, Josh, over at um name Josh, I think it's Josh. Over at uh Site One Landscaping that watched your video and he said he wants to donate out of his own pocket. A Japanese maple for you to bring back with you for really? your front, for Tracy and her front pond. You just felt motivated by that. Really, Let's very give him a nice. Call right now. Awesome. Yeah. Listen to that. Oh my God. That's something you hear in the in the wilderness. Hey, is this Josh? Hey, bud, it's Josh. It's the pond guy, Greg. How you doing? I'm good, good. I just, uh, just work and about to get off shortly. Hey, do you want to, um, I have Big Rich here, and um, I was told by my marketing manager that you wanted to donate a uh, Jap Maple for Ohio Fish Rescue in Tracy's Pond. Yeah, yeah, that's, uh, that's my plan, man. I, I bet uh, you, you remember who I am, one of your rocket site one. You I thought, I YouTube thought. Channel. You you were a fantastic help with the plants and the and have you seen yeah, the pond yet? Yeah, I mean I've been watching your YouTube channel every day. I'm I've been hooked on it. So <laughs> uh, yeah, I like it. I'm I'm uh, I'm planning on uh, when I get off bring a jap and uh, give it give it uh, give it to them. Uh, meet them somewhere, but give it to them and uh, kind of my token for enjoying their videos. Oh well, thank you. I appreciate that, buddy. That's Big Rich. How you doing? Yeah, nice to meet yeah, you. Well, uh, yeah, it will look really good. What, where will be a good place for a good, good place for me to bring it to? Well, bring it to the job site. We want to show you Shaq's Pond with all the beautiful plants you sold us, and then we'll unload the koi that uh, Josh and, and Big Rich brought down, and we'll load up a Jap maple for them to take back. Hell yeah, hell yeah. That would be <laughs> what, what time is it? What time is it? Uh, well, it's uh, 1030 right now. I think Shaq's going to be waking up around noon and we'll be putting the fish in. So w whenever you want to get off and bring over here, we'll just, because we, we can load it up. So just come on over. Yeah, yeah, I'll do it. Can you shoot me the address? I know I've yep. never been there, but uh, shoot me the address. I get off at noon and uh, I'll shoot right on over there. But man, I'm excited and man, I'm glad our pass crossed because man, I've been inspired by you. By you so. I've been watching. I uh, hell, I've watched. I've been binge watching every either. My my girls like, man, you gotta stop watching. I'm, like, I'm, I'm inspired. So, well, Josh. Josh, thank you for that, and um, we will see you. I'll send you the address right now, and we'll see you when you get off with the Jab Maple, and you can see the landscaping that you helped us do. All right, thank you, sir. I'm excited. Awesome. awesome. Bye, 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 bud. How, how cool is that? That's very cool. So he's very just cool. he's just a plant guy. At uh, well, just the plant. I mean, he's the head plant guy at Site One Landscaping, and he. I was telling him hey, I'm getting all these plants for Shaq, and he thought it was so cool. And then I said, let's watch the videos. And of course, he's been binge watching the videos and saw your videos through our videos. And uh, and he said, and he heard about the front pond and saw the front pond that we built for you, and thought a Japanese maple, which is right over there, would be nice. And so obviously, we'll unload the fish, and he'll bring us one of those beautiful plants. And that's about uh, that that plant right there. Retail is eleven hundred dollars. Really? <laughs> yeah. Wow. Because that's a, that's a five or six year plant that's just taking the ground that long. Really? Yeah. So he's going to bring you so, one. So we'll unload the fish and we'll load in a Jap maple and you'll be on your way home. So let me say something else. You said he's just a plant guy. Yeah, well, aren't, aren't you just a pond guy? <laughs> exactly. That's a good way of looking. I'm just a pond guy. He's a plant guy. No, he was very knowledgeable. Great site one. And he got all the plants for this came from site one. That's awesome.
and I'm just a guy with a couple of fish tanks. <laughs> <laughs> hey, you want to see the uh, inside of the uh, treehouse? Sure. Come on, let's go up there. Yep. But hey, look, check out the view from over here. This is so awesome. I mean, an aerial view of this yard. Oh, this goes all the way around. Oh, look at that. <laughs> and at night time, I mean, next to that bad. fire pit where Josh look is sitting right now. Clear water. Imagine with the quays coming around there and the lilies blooming and everything. Yeah. Hey, Josh, say hi. Say hi. Hey, <laughs> you might just fall asleep there. You're right. <laughs> <laughs> look at this. I can just imagine with all the color changing lights at night. Mm-hmm. This is amazing. But look at how cool that path is coming all the way down. You know, how he zigs and zags. And I yeah. love the blue of the patch, it, uh, the blue of the gravel, the green of the uh, sod, the, all the landscaping. The brown patching. And one week ago, literally, oh no, uh, 10 days ago, this was just grass. And then it was just mud. <laughs> now Greg's taking us around back behind Shaq's house to take us to his gym. Oh, and look at this. I've got that same exact plant in our in our pond as Shaq's got in his pond. That's awesome. All right, I sent you to go get Greg. How did that go down? Did he yell at you? No, I, I walked in there, basically kicked him right in the ass and said, Greg, get your ass over here. No, I'm joking. <laughs> um, <laughs> his workout didn't, didn't actually go as planned, so he can't well, work out. I told him we're ready to do it with the fish, so come on, let's go. He said, all right, I'll be over. Oh, good deal, good deal. I told you he was going to be walking across that parking lot in about okay. 10 seconds. There, there he is. I he told him to, to get over here. He listens. What did you <laughs> just say? First time ever. <laughs> the pond guy listens. <laughs> the pond guy never listens. <laughs> That's awesome. What's up, Greg? I've changed. I'm ready to move some fish. Okay. I even got my, I even got my fish moving uh, shorts on. Awesome, awesome. <laughs> okay. Which one's that, Joshy? I have no idea. <laughs> you can't just scoop. He's <laughs> white. He's got speckles on him. Big one, little one. Oh. Okay, first fish, guys. Where'd he go? <laughs> oh, there he goes down there. First fish into the koi pond. Very nice. All right, Josh, let's see. Da -da -da. That was when we were all done uh, picking out fish, and you said, no, wait, I want Jack to have this one. One more fish. And I was like, okay. That's the one, the skinless one with the ginrin. Right to. Okay. Which one's this one, Jashi? Big orange one. The orange and white one? No. Yeah, oh, okay. We're saving that one for last for Shaq. Yep. Oh, this guy. That Beautiful. One, that one is still egg-laden, I bet. Yeah, she has eggs. Did you squeeze some out? I bet you they're going to breed in here, Big Rich. Oh, they're going to. Tonight. As soon as you change your water, look how egg-laden she is. She is packed full still. Explore. Oh, another big one. How fun is this? <laughs> More fun I, than I, I had yesterday. <laughs> I love my job. That you do. <laughs> That's that yellow one. I like that one. Buttery. Buttery looking one. That's what I called it.
That's the all black one. It's hard to see. There's the big yellow one. Big old one. This one right here coming up is my second favorite one with the super long fins. He knows to keep the big orange and white one in, right? That's a good the Ochiba. Thing. It's an Ochiba. Ochiba. Can you guys let me know when Josh is coming? Yeah, yeah. I think we got enough. Wait, what do we got? Nine in here now? We'll set it up. I was going to say, I want it in there for yeah, a little while agree. just to see them actually swimming around, okay. not us adding them. Just like this right here. Yes, yeah, yeah, just put it, it somewhere. Eight, four, five, six, seven, I got it. It's coming in. How many is left in there, Josh? One more after this. We're in the one for Chef. Okay, no. There's, there's ten in here now. You got to find them. There's nine. Nine? Well, then there's two in the blue tub. Oh, okay. Then you're right. How big is Tracy's white one? Uh, about the size of that little one right there, but skinnier. Yeah. The glorious fan, too. He's not filming. What do you get? Oh, okay. he's over there. Do you need them all? Here. There's number 10. Yes. And the last one is for... Shaq. Is that the last one until we can bring Shaq's in? Yeah. Okay, so Tony, get this on. You want to get this on film? Yeah. Yeah. Turn switch, open your body up to it. Yeah. There you go. You should get the waterfall as the backdrop, though. Who I mean, wants the sun in his back? You can get what do you want to do? Here. All right, ready? Yeah. Okay. Well, of course, it came off. So, I, my only concern with this was it's such a new pond, and I, we had brand new lilies and big fish. So I was worried about the fish going after the lilies in a new pond with big fish and new lilies. So I texted Ed because I'm like, is the ecosystem developed yet after less than two weeks? And here's, here's, here's Ed the pond professor's response, which is so classic. There's a host of epileptic critters that inhabit the gravel bed of the pond. This is the foundation of the oxygen ecosystem. These animals are responsible for the cycling of nutrients and the decomposition of fish waste. I knew all that. Waste of, from one animal is good for another. Yeah, 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 blah, blah, blah. Tell me the answers. We always start our ecosystem out with a healthy dose of beneficial bacteria to ensure the system starts out properly. And you seeded this with some existing bacteria from the other ponds, right? Yes, yeah. Yep, awesome. and filters. Uh, we always, um, once the bacteria are established, it opens the door for countless other life forms, including copiates, rotifers, daphnia, tardigrades, don't even know what that is. I'm sure you do. <laughs> and larval forms of aquatic insects such as damselflies and dragonflies, which are the keystone species in aquatic environments, and they're responsible for controlling mosquito populations. So this is Ed the Pond Professor, a brand new pond. We have concerns with those beautiful fish in there, tearing up the lilies, but they're already starting to eat the gravel and get the bacteria off it, and the coferds and all the other things. Yeah. John, who's gonna be maintaining this thing from Universal Aquatics, used to work at the Georgia Aquarium. How many years were you at the Georgia Aquarium? Almost five. So he's nice. going to be the one maintaining it. So, so here's the question. Okay. These fish have been together for a while. Yeah. Big Rich brought one of Tracy's koi. Okay. That's a butterfly koi. Okay. He can either take it back or he can introduce it. Then they've never been introduced to this fish. What would you think he should do? Uh, I could probably go either way. I, I feel that since it's already been brought down, and there's 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 reasons behind why he brought it. I, I feel it will be okay. Okay. Normally, you know, five fish from different stores, you put them all together. Right. His concerns are these are really nice fish. Yeah. And we've got fish from two different ecosystems. They, no, they all grew up together. Yeah. They all live together. And now my fish has a different set of bacteria from right. in my ponds and stuff. Right. All right. He don't want no one getting sick, uh, bacterial problems, fungal problems, anything like that. Yeah. That's what he's worried about. So you're you're coming in with your thoughts on it. Yeah. So there's always that 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 factor of cross-contamination, yep. whatever, introducing new diseases, especially whenever they get stressed out, just like you're saying, new bacteria. Um, I don't know, it's tough because you, you, you came so far. Yeah. It, you know? That's okay. But he does this. No, I, I hear I you. I can take it back. No problem. I think yeah. you should take it back because I don't want to have any problems for John or risk losing any of Shaq's fish to a fish that they've not grown up with. 
Okay. Did they come together in the same container? No, the two different containers. If they, you if saw that, the, the one in the little gray tub? Yeah. They all came out of the blue tub. Could we possibly ship it down at a later time? How about this? How about it? you take it back to your place, acclimate it in one of your ponds, and then determine if you can bring it over here? Sure. When these fish are quarantined for a couple weeks and are okay. healthy. Okay. Does that make sense? Yeah, no one does, Rich, does that make sense to you as a good compromise? Mm -hmm. Then you don't have to bring the fish back. John will take care of it in one of his ponds. Yeah. And then look, check, make sure these fish don't have anything going on, which we scraped them. They didn't, so we should be good. What's up, Zach? Is that the family, huh? The birthday boy. Yeah. A week later. Look at the fish, guys. Look at the fish. No, nope. that's how tall Shaq is. <laughs> Next to Greg. On the same step. <laughs>